Okay. Uh, so you're going to enter the cave? Yes, we have the permission of Ferenc. What is your marching order? Just set yourself up uh, head and south. As we enter, I'm going to cast greater status on everyone. South, you said? And shield other on Joseph. Bottom is south, right? Yes, the bottom is south. As you approach the cave, the ogres express uh, their disinterest in going into the cave. Would they like to elaborate? Well, underground, their bows are going to be way less effective, and they were recruited to fight the dragon, not the kobolds. Um... How about Honestly, are we worried about the kobolds? If we could lure the dragon out somehow, then that'd be so much better, but by now well, I, mean, I have to imagine that she knows to be wary of us. Yeah, I'm well I just mean in general. Are we afraid of the kobolds at all? If not, uh, I'm just going to say that's fine if you just want to walk behind us, carry a rock or something to defend yourselves with. And until the dragon shows up, if you don't want to fight, I'm not too worried about it. Self-defense might be a good thing for you guys, but outside of that, uh, we'll take care of the, the heavy lifting. Is that fair enough? Um, that seems reasonable. It's also likely to get pretty tight in there. Um, single file will work. If it gets to the point where you guys can't even squeeze through, then I guess it'll be your lucky day. I'm just imagining the point where the kid, where the kobolds do a cave-in trap. We're all buried up to our necks. Ska, brother, help me. Oh, just fucking bash our heads in. That sounds awesome. I assume they don't have bonus hit points in the morning? Nope. Nope. I like how Xander's in the middle. No one wants to be near the ogres. Okay, as you guys are approaching the cave, out of the darkness comes a magic missile or two. Joseph, five points. Vasca, four points. I'm just going to stick the ogres off to the side, just because the cave entrance isn't particularly large. That's fair. But I can throw them back on once uh, Xander comes through. So then we can move to initiative. Dang, they just waited right in front like that. Well, they're going to run it 
first uh, opportunity. What do you have as a light source, Ferenc? Uh, I'd be casting light. Okay. And I assume you want your torch, Vasca? Yes, please. Also, the radius of my light is doubled because I am a radiant servant. Oh, nice. Can you make that permanent? Uh, yes, if I cast a continual flame spell. I'm going to need to get a torch from you later. Noted. It also counts as one level higher for dispelling darkness, so a continual flame spell would dispel the third level darkness spell. Or negate it. Yeah, it is quite funny that uh, you have a light priest in your party and you carry around a torch. instead of getting him to uh, cast Continual Light on something. Oh, wow. The kobolds blew you out of the water. How did you roll so terrible, Vasca? It's a two. That I rolled a it. two. Okay. Well, then the kobolds will immediately flee down the tunnel. My light radius is double. I will double your light radius. There you go. Okay. Nice. Then you guys can make a perception check. This is not really relevant. Your light shines pretty far down the tunnel. Oh, yeah. So the next two um, kobolds will fire. One for Vasca and one for Ference. And then they will also withdraw. As soon as I get back on the D uh, token layer.
Okay, then we're on to Vasca. I'm fully expecting all kinds of stupid shit to happen, so we're just going to fly on in at the ground level, but off of the floor. And I can see him, so we're going to go ahead and... I can't quite get him, but I can toast the one in the back. Well, I can take a five-foot step, that's what I can do. Oh yeah, that's much that's much nicer. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's let's torch. I think does that get two? Yeah, that gets all three of them. Let's do that line. I like that line. Okay. So reflex saves, if you will. They fail. Uh, before that one in the back goes up in flames, he will hit you with his magic missile, as will the other three. Sounds good. Seventeen, I think. Yep. Okay. Uh I don't think that other one got hit. No, I was. No, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, right. that's my turn. Okay, so these guys would all be dead. Good instantly. And then we're on to Xander. Um, let's see. I'll move. Roll your reflex save. Yeah. Okay, you hit a tripwire and a bunch of rocks uh, fall, but you managed to dodge out of the way. Nice, and we'll just move over here. And we're going to five foot back. That's the turn. I'm going to move up and then five foot back. Yep. Okay, Joseph, you're up. I guess send attack. Oh, we'll save. Almost. That's three in a row, you feel. Oh, my ogre friends. Yeah, now there's enough room on the map they can follow you in. friends huh it took convincing just for you to heal them yeah but now we're all fighting on the same side 
Surely this is the beginning of their path to redemption. They're not fighting. Well, yeah, but they're, you know, they're being around us while not trying to kill us. You know, that's that's actually a pretty big rarity. They're around us while we're slaughtering an entire group of people. All right, that ends my turn. Okay, then we're on interference. I will move forward. That's the turn. Oh, I guess I'll heal Vasca actually. Let's see there. You heal thirty. 16 and then 14 temporary hit points. That was only down like 23. <laughs> you were injured. How dare you? Why are you? Oh, you're down from the magic missiles. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say no. Okay, roll initiative when you're ready. Oh, I do need to make a check, actually, for that magic missile. Why do you have to make a check? Because I hit, got hit by a magic missile. Oh, okay. Cast and spell? Yep, it's fine. My spellcraft is no longer total trash. It is now only mediocre. You go, girl. Okay, Xander, you're up first somehow. Oh. Um, I will move and attack. That's a shame. It's a shame that you just outright slaughtered him? Well, the trauma uh, that the witnesses are going to have after this if they live. True that. And that's a turn. Okay, Vasco, you're up. I only see one kobold at the moment. Uh, so we're just going to move in a little bit and we're going to torch him. So reflex save versus 26 points of fire damage. Doesn't make any difference. He can't survive 26 points of fire damage. That's fair. He is incinerated. Yeah, right. And I'll just flap, just flap a little to the right. Okay, Joseph, you're up. All right. Um... I guess I'd look to try to see which pathway sees the most traffic. 
Okay, you can roll a survival check. The eastern path sees the most traffic. Are they both level ground, or does one go up and one go down? Um, they both go up slightly, but not by any real significant amount. Like, obviously, uh, towards the opening is downhill. It seems like the original cave was carved by water. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't, like, a drastic difference. No, there's it's very, very level in here. Um, it's almost indistinguishable how level it is. I would s talk to Vasca, let him know that most of them, most tracks go to the east, or is most worn there, and less go to the west. I don't know if that means one is towards a dragon and only certain people get to go there, or if... Well, do like uh, in in cobalt dragon relations, is it like very few of the uh, kobolds are allowed entry into the dragon's lair, or are they all just like kind of workers who just kind of like bring in their platter of whatever the fuck they've mined and then they move on out, like uh, a factory line? You can roll a knowledge or can on that. All right, uh, I don't have my book to hand, so. Won't be able to add bonus, but I think I'm okay. Under Canna, 32. From what you know of the relationship between kobolds and dragons, the kobolds uh, have a very, very powerful fear of the dragon. And while they will do whatever the dragon wants, they tend to stay out of the dragon's presence. Um simply because they're afraid of offending the dragon. They can't offend it if they stay away. So usually there is a selected delegation that delivers tributes and whatnot. Um, but it is unlikely that the dragon would be uh, in an area with this many kobolds in the first place, unless this is actually her lair and they're guarding her lair. Uh, Vasco suggests we take the less traveled path. Ferenc, you already took your turn? Oh, uh, yeah, I just moved up. I'm going to stabilize that uh, kobold when I get a chance. Okay. Uh, Vasco, you can roll a perception check. Set of perception check. Yeah, apparently I rolled terrible. Twenty. Nice. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any way of fixing that. Well, the number's wrong, but other than that. Should be 18, uh, but his luck is only 12, and I don't see anything else here that's going to help him. So, uh, he's pooched. Uh, 
So this dude just pops up in the middle of the room. Uh, yeah, he moves over from the uh, the side towards you, and you see him as he's moving up. Yeah, okay. Is he a kobold? Is he human? What is that? He's a kobold. I just, my plan was to use fast getaway, but he needs to do a sneak attack or a sleight of hand check to use it. And you spotted him, so he can't do the sneak attack. So I think he's just going to try the sleight of hand, since that would allow him to use his getaway ability. So he will attempt to pick your pockets while he's adjacent to you. Not particularly good at it, though. Is that a contested check? Yes, that is a DC 26 spot check. Perception check. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. What have you got of value that's easily taken? Uh, on my belt are a handful of potions. Everything else is in my bag. Okay, how many potions do you have out? Uh, I would have a Cure Miner and three Cure Mods. Sorry, three of each. Or the wrong, wrong line there. So you have four potions? Six. Six potions? Yeah, three Miners, three Cure Mods. Okay, he steals the first one. So, Cure Miner, then. Vasca, are you not capable of going into a cave without getting robbed? It would appear not. To be fair, I wasn't exactly expecting a pickpocket on this adventure. To be fair, I don't think you were expecting to be sold as a slave in the first one either. Meh, yeah, well, expect the unexpected. Okay, so he grabs something from you and then takes off to the east. Do I get an attack of opportunity? No, that's the special ability, is that he can uh, use the withdraw action as a move action. So do we get to see him run off, or how far does he run? He runs through the passage to the east. Okay, how, like what, how fast is, what's his move speed? You don't know what his move speed is. He moves beyond your field of view. Got it. Okay, since there's no enemies left, we'll move on to Xander. Um, I think I actually do see him, so I'm going to... Um, is that a chargeable square? Uh, yeah, that is a chargeable square. That would be the closest square to him. Cool. I'm just going to charge him then. Okay, you want to roll a perception check as you're running through? Uh, sure. Nice. Okay, as you're running up, you notice there is a weird groove um, in the floor. Mm. Um, right there. Does that show up? Yes. Oh, okay. A groove, so like a plate type, of, like a pressure plate type deal? No, it's a groove in the floor. It's uh, about six inches wide and about four inches deep. It almost looks like like a runoff or a drain or something. Oh, oh, I see. To like trip you if you don't realize it. Okay. Um, mm, yeah, you can make whatever assumptions you want about it. Groove. You said six inches wide? Yeah, it's about six inches wide and about four inches deep. Anything in it? Uh, no, but you either stop before it and study it, or do you... No, I, yeah, I'm just going to step over it if I can. You can. Um, That is... Are they evil? I assume so. Yes, kobolds are evil. And with the plus two from charging, that would hit. Not enough to drop it, though. 
that is his AC. Okay. You can make another perception check. Oh dear. Holy shit. Not enough. Okay. Well, a, another kobold comes around the corner at you. Mm. Uh, no, I did not. Um, I'm actually in a decent spot, but can't that... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the turn. He rolls a pair of misses on you. He does. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, then we're on to Vasca. All right, I'm following Xander. Uh, I am on the wing. So, uh, I see him. I'm going to torch. I'm assuming that's the one who got my potion. That is him. Okay, I'll do my cone, which will get this area. So DC twenty one reflect. No, we'll do cold. DC twenty fortitude save. These are sneaky boys. They're good at dodging. Very wise choice. You can do a cone with your fire too. I can do a cone of cold or fire. Yes. Okay. They fail. They will take 31 cold damage. I'm going to yell at the other one to like stop and bow to a real dragon in Draconic. See what he does. Excellent choice. Okay, Joseph, you're up. All right, I will. Move to here and check out this hallway. Okay, you can roll a perception check. You also notice that there is a groove in the floor. All right, I will move close to the groove and take a look at it. Okay, the groove goes across the floor and up both sides of the wall and into the roof. It's like this perfectly carved rectangle for this doorway. I'm not about to like what's about to happen to me. A door just separates me from the group. Well, you got greater status on you. You'll be fine. I am beginning to see the extreme usefulness of that spell. So there's no groove on the ceiling, just up to the ceiling. Nope, there's a groove in the ceiling as well. And is there anything in the room beyond? Uh, you do not see anything in the room beyond. All right. That'll end my turn. Okay. Then we're back to Ferentz. Um, I'm just going to delay. Okay, then the kobold will five foot back 
and he will hit Vasco with his uh, magic missile. for 12 points. Actually, he'll five foot north to there. Then Magic Missile Vasca, then take off. He hisses at you, Vasca, and says, Imposter. She thrown. Do anything, uh, Ferentz? Uh, I got. I, I'll move over with uh, Joseph, I suppose. Excellent. Okay, then we're back to Xander. Uh, for better or worse, I'm chasing after the guy. Okay, chase away. Oh, uh, is this narrow? It is very narrow. Mm, let me see if I have what I think I do. Um, damn, I do not. If I okay. had five, four, five more feet of movement, I could have gotten out of line of sight there. Um, this would just be squeezing? No, this would be a DC-15 escape artist check. Escape artist. Would acro work? Nope. Mm. You don't have an escape artist? I do not. Uh, if I, so that was 20 feet. If I did the escape artist, I guess that would get me here. I can't five foot, so I wouldn't be able to reach and attack, correct? Exactly. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell Vasca to get here quick and breathe like a motherfucker. And I'm going to move back. So that I can examine that groove after. Uh, I'll go here. That's a turn. Okay, Vasca, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and breathe like a motherfucker. It was over here, right? Yep. All right, we're gonna throw a line of fire in there. Just nice and toasty. Okay, My well, regardless of what happens, he dies. So you can roll your perception check. Oh yeah, that is toasty. Uh, He's only got see. two. Oh, I guess if he makes his save, he uh, takes no damage. Yeah, he didn't get one yet. Oh wait, yeah, I did say fire, didn't I? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, not quite. Yeah, but he can luck it up. It's twenty-one, isn't it? Twenty-one. I'll luck it down. Okay. And perception check. Nineteen. That's not bad. but not nearly enough. So he will sneak attack you. 24, I guess a 12 isn't going to be hit on you even flat-footed. I'm guessing uh, 24 is? Against my flat foot, correct? Yeah. Why don't you have any stats in your bubble? My flat oh. foot is 21. You're, you're selecting my torch. Yeah, I, mean... I realized that as soon as I said it. Okay. Flatfoot's 21. 
so he sticks you for d6. I should have just rolled that all as one. So a total of 12 points. And then he can use his getaway to go north. I'm gonna look at Xander and be like, they're just gonna like play tag with us in here. We should just stand back at the door. Let them come to us. Know what I mean? That's fair. Uh, and that's I'll take a five foot step here. Sorry. But fucking if I could what the hell? Well, I lost my torch in the wall. Yeah. Question that may become step. relevant here. Am I able to use a wand through the greater status spell? No. Okay. That's what I figured. You still have to be able to touch someone with a wand. Xander, where did you go? Um, I had moved. What was the path you took? Okay. And Vasco, what was the path you took? Uh, I remember I am flying. So. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't check on you because you're flying. Yeah. Okay, then we're on to Joseph. I am going to take the cobalt body behind me and drop it on the line. Okay. Nothing happened? Nope, nothing happened. All right, I will... Step over its corpse and try to get a better look at this room. Okay. This is the less traveled path, correct? Yes. Uh, Joseph is going down the less traveled path. Okay, is that all you're doing, Joseph? Yeah, I'll make a perception check. Okay. What are you looking for? Anything of note. Okay. You do not find anything of note. Ference, what are you doing? I will move in behind him. Um... Assuming he points out the groove at all, or I see him tossing the body on it, I'll move quickly over it, because I don't trust it either. Okay. And then we're back over to Xander. And I will be in action for a crystal, I guess, but it doesn't matter for the top around. Um. Oh, sorry, it's not Xander's turn. It is the kobold's turn. Ah, cool. Ferenc. So he will move to there. And then he will magic missile Xander. Wow, I'm rolling shit on my magic missiles. Okay, then we're on to Xander. Um, I'll just charge him. Excellent. Do I stop before? You trigger seven different traps. Uh, yes. As you run along the south there, you trigger a burning hands trap. I don't think it reaches Vasca. 
No, it doesn't. He's 15 feet north. So you can roll a reflex save. Very. Nice. Okay. So you take five points of fire damage as you run down the hall. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to stop, so I'm just going to continue the charge if that's fine. Yep. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Actually, I am going to keep confirming that for the Tamora thing as I try and get more affiliations. So I'm just going to reconfirm that. Okay. Okay, well, that's still fine. 